Well, if we deal with uh, pace first, um, I, I used to take middle as a guard. Um, and uh, I, I, the reason I did that, because I don't want to, some people stand on middle and off, they come over. But I feel that therefore their back can sometimes come down outside the line of the stumps. Now, if the ball is straight, it means they're ever so slightly coming across the ball. They could be an LBW candidate. So when I was batting, I took middle guard because I wanted, after I'd done my trigger, I wanted my bat to be able to come down on the line of middle and off to have access to the ball. Um, so that was my personal preference. If the ball, if the pitch was keeping low against pace or there was in swing, I might shuffle a bit more onto leg stump. Now that would show more of my stumps, but it, again, it's allowing me to get the bat at the ball, taking out the LBW position or the LBW dismissal because the ball is keeping low. If the wicket is bouncy, it might be that you actually have to get over to the offside. And against Glen McGrath, who used to bowl a lot around off stump just outside and get bounce, I found myself having to get over into line and get in behind the ball. So again, that's a tactical decision. And with spin bowling, um, against left arm spin, I would back out onto leg stump. Um, the reason being is that it would sort of open the offside to play with the spin. So I'd always want to be playing with the spin really. And then I knew that if the bowler followed me, actually he's pitching outside leg stump, which gave me a free, free hit to leg. So whether it was on the front foot playing with the spin or getting back, I had the room to be able to access through the offside. For the off spinner, it was the opposite. I would go across to off stump, bat over here, and look to play with the spin, through mid on, through mid wicket. Um, sometimes if it was outside off stump, of course, you know, you can sweep from outside off stump as well. So there's tactical reasons as to what guard I used to take.